Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash and welcome you all in my channel Chemistry and History of Molecule. So today we will discuss a name reaction that is Capcho decarboxylation. This reaction is nothing but salt assisted hydrolysis of ester followed by decarboxylation. So it's a very interesting reaction. Uh, so today we will cover a few points in our discussion like the basic concept of this reaction, reaction mechanism and rule of salt, solvent, uh, anion and rule of this sorry uh, the solvent DMSO and finally how entropy affects the reaction. So a lot of chemistry to be learned in this video so watch until the end and I have a small request to you if you really like my teaching please help my channel to do. So what is this reaction what I told that this is a salt assisted decarboxylation. What do I mean by this technique? Generally or better to say salt assisted ester hydrolysis. Salt assisted ester hydrolysis which followed by decarboxylation because decarboxylation is not possible until it became acid because when it became acid means what do I mean if it became acid it becomes this is our prime, this is C double bond OOH. So, this became a beta keto acid. Okay. This is actually a beta keto acid. So, this is nothing but a beta keto ester. And I have already discussed in my previous video about how this beta keto ester undergo facile decarboxylation under heating through a six member transition state. Okay. So, I will explain this thing a little bit slowly. So, this hydrolysis part is responsible for this salt generally for normal ester hydrolysis so for normal ester hydrolysis so ester hydrolysis generally required generally required base or acid required H plus or OH minus so acid or alkali but this is the uniqueness of this method that this is possible only by using a salt. So a lot of chemist understanding is there between this reaction condition. Okay. So, so let's discuss the mechanism. Okay. So how this reaction is happening. So first of all, first of all let's discuss how hydrolysis is happening. Second we will discuss the decarboxylation. So how this hydrolysis is happening? This is happening by salt, Cl minus. I will come every single bit. But before going to the mechanism, I want to give you some idea about the, some idea how you can find out the mechanism without memorizing or previously knowing. Based on your common sense, how can you predict the mechanism? See, all time it is not essential that you have to learn or know every single reaction or mechanism. It is not possible when I have cleared my exams, I also didn't know. But I believe based on common sense, we can know. First of all, see what is the product produced. So this is the reactant, this is the condition, these are the products. So based on that, you have to find out how this reaction is happening. Generally, ester hydrolysis happened, this first alkali attacks. Because if you compare lithium chloride versus alkali, means OH minus, first OH minus attacks carbonyl, then it opens, it produces acid, then reaction happens. But if this chloride attacks this, then instead of here OME used to leave, then we have to get the product methanol, but we are getting methyl chloride. So you should look at the products carefully, then only it will be easier for you. So the process is not like that. Okay. So how this is happening? See, here the chloride minus first attacking the methyl. Okay. So why it can attack and how? This is actually attacking via SN2 process. Okay. So backside attack on the methyl. Question why? Because here see this O minus left. This is it creates O minus. This is resonance stabilized using this. So that is the main reason that it hydrolyzes and actually it produces the corresponding salt. Okay. And means because chloride because this is, you, you will see that this is O minus, you know, 
along with chloride there is a lithium so it is expected that lithium salt will be produced but see we haven't we haven't provided any any type of base in the reaction medium and lithium chloride this is a salt of strong acid strong base so it's neutral so we can say that along with lithium carboxylate means this there will be substantial amount of carboxylic acid also okay so this is the hydrolysis part so this is the first part that is hydrolysis Okay, so this is sorry. Better to say not hydrolysis. Better to say extra hydrolysis. Fine. Now, in next step, what's happening? This is actually a alpha. This is the beta keto acid, and through six-member transition state, decarboxylation can happen. So, let me give you a very brief for better understanding. Please visit the dedicated video for decarboxylation of beta keto acids. So, R. This is O. This is our prime, and let's draw properly. This is the OH. This. So how the reaction uh, happens through a six-member cyclic transition state means this is abstracted. It comes. This it comes. Okay. So this is the transition state. Six-member cyclic transition state. So what it produces? It produces R C double bond O. Sorry, not C double bond O, C O H double bond R prime plus carbon dioxide. So here carbon dioxide is eliminated. So this is, and it instantly see this is a enol, so instantly it automerizes into keto R C double bonded O R prime. Fine. So this is the product. Now we have understood the mechanism. First part is not hydrolysis. Second part is decarboxylation and for this process heat is essential okay fine now the question what is the role of entropy see this ester hydrolysis this thing is whatever ester you can take for this process but methyl ester provides better result why because during the reaction methyl chloride is produced which is a gas carbon dioxide is produced which is also a gas see two gas molecules are produced and overall actually see this what is the fate of this lithium uh, salt it so this lithium salt is hydrolyzed into lithium hydroxide okay or you can so that's the fine but see one molecule produces three molecule but this methyl part produces methyl chloride this part produces carbon dioxide and this part produces ketone so one molecule is producing three molecule that is the reason this is entropically effect okay so this is the role of uh, role of entropy now let's discuss the role of first this uh withdrawing in case of beta position not only carbonyl any multiple bond if you put having some withdrawing capability okay for example not only carbonyl you can consider this as not only carbonyl nitrile possible okay so even uh, other derivative of this double bond can also show but withdrawing effect accelerates the reaction Second, what is the role of DMSO? It's a very interesting thing. See, DMSO helps to solvate the lithium plus. See, this is a lithium chloride, it's an ionic compound, and in this medium, generally in organic medium, its solubility is less. So, how it could be solubilized, and how the see chloride is acting as an equilophile. Chloride itself is not a very strong equilibrium, but it is acting here. Question: How? For that reason, chloride must be activated, and this is done the by the DMSO. DMSO actually looks like this. This is the canonical form. Okay, so DMSO, many DMSO molecule, what can happen? They can coordinate. They can coordinate to the central metal ion. So, what is the advantage? See, if all these uh, metal ions coordinates lithium so the plus charge is stabilized because of this coordination i am not saying this uh, so 
this many GMSO, I am not saying exactly four, so many GMSO molecule could uh, generally uh, lithium prefers tetrahedral. drug, that's why I wrote four because it's smaller size. So fine. So this DMSO solvates the lithium plus. Okay. So if the cation is solvate by the solvent, then anion becomes free. And if it is free, so this is more nucleophilic. Okay. So this is a more nucleophilic or better nucleophile, right? That's why its activity is enhanced. So that is the reason to use DMSO. And second point C, this is a 150 degree centrifugal. And DMSO around boiling point, I guess around 180. So it can handle the temperature very easily. So this is the overall discussion about the Cracho decarboxylation. Okay. So what we have learned? We have learned salt acid state, high, salt acid state hydrolysis followed by decarboxylation of beta keto ester. Okay. In presence of lithium chloride DMSO combination and this reaction is we have discussed the mechanism. First, it's a hydrolysis. Second, it's a decarboxylation. And this process is entropy driven because one molecule produces three molecules. And among these three, two are gas. So that is another advantage of this process. So this is the end of this discussion. Thank you for watching. So if you really like my teaching, please help my channel to grow. And for that, first of all, subscribe my channel, Chemistry the Mystery of Molecule. And please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video I upload. Secondly, Pass this video to other people such that they can also enjoy this information and additionally during this corona quarantine time some study is essential and I believe that's, that is the main reason I am making this video for you uh, right now. So I will be very happy it is helpful for you right now and another thing for myself please like the video and make some good comments because it inspires a lot. So thank you again stay happy stay blessed see you in my next video.